here's something for the mums. Hey, Mum, are you getting sick and tired of the house? Need to get away from the kids for a bit? Or why don't you just get away from it all? Hubby and you. You could win a holiday for two. Fourteen days of romance and sunshine and $200 spending money. Where? Have a guess. Lovely hula hands, graceful as a bird. Doesn't that turn you on? Fourteen days on a South Sea island. And it can be yours. All you've got to do is answer a simple quiz question and tell us the brand of tea you drink. If you're right. Ah, but that's enough of that now. I'll give you the details later. Right now, you'll have to put up with me for a little bit longer because it's off with the chatter and back to the platter. So I thought about the subject of disc jockeys, um quite a bit. The most outstanding features that uh, sprang to my attention were the hair and the jovial face. Cartoonist likes to see what he's drawing, and to most people, a disc jockey is just a voice on the radio. It's not something in, you see with your eyes, it's something you hear with your ears. When I draw a man, I'm just sort of drawing the idea of a man, just something that represents a man. And to me, uh, it's usually uh, the eyes and the mouth, I think, the most important things, because they seem to express everything about a person. How would you like to win the very latest? A lot of disc jockeys seem to talk a big mess. So there's a bit of weather, there's a bit of sport, a bit about the record, and prizes to be won, and it all comes out as a big mess. It's a great day here in town. Makes you feel just great to be alive. I've always felt that disc jockeys led people. So uh, Pied Piper immediately sprang into my mind. I'm working with a felt pen it's just easy to sketch ideas, it's clean. Just for playing around, you know, I can't tell what's going to, I'm going to draw in the next minute, you know, something might come into my mind and I'll draw it. Using a pencil is for just shading things. It's fairly easy to sort of smudge a pencil and make it look like, you know, shading or smoke. Or it's a pretty handy sort of a thing to use. I'm thinking about the terrors of the uh, transistor radio um, that's bellowing alongside you on the beach or uh, it might even be next to you at the traffic lights when you're waiting to cross the street or the uh, transistor that moves from room to room in your home uh, screeching forth. Well, this is um, the sort of thing that is, is bouncing out of the uh, transistor in between uh, screeches. Uh, it's uh, how to make a fortune uh, uh, quickly, uh, 
how to win a, a package tour um, around the Pacific or something, or uh, the dream car, or the refrigerator, or the washing machine, or something like this. Uh, I see that this jockey is a, a sort of a, a public figure, and nobody really knows his face. They just know his voice, and the fact that he's, he comes into their homes, and uh, so it's this idea of the voice that comes into people's homes and stops people from being lonely quite often. I can't seem to think of anything so funny rather than um, just a drawing perhaps of a housewife sitting there with uh, a cup of tea. Suddenly this radio has become a man. And remember, drive carefully. We can't afford to lose any listeners. <laughs> I know what this, this jockey looks like. Had I been that sort of cartoonist who, who's very good at drawings that look like the people, he would have been a good subject, but uh, I'm perhaps a bit more interested in what he represents more than his sort of funny face. I suppose that's what a disc jockey is. You can turn them on and turn them off, and it's more or less like some company for the lady. It's just one aspect of the disc jockey. I like to make a drawing interesting. If it happens to be a, a city street, well, then I'll put all the shops in. Uh, if it happens to be a football ground, I'll put all the people in. Now, these kids are probably my own, I don't know, uh, but uh, always with kids, I, I imagine them with a uh, slot place, uh, generally making rather a bit of a noise. People do tend to be led by the nose, I think. The method of advertising is a sort of brainwashing, uh, which people take very seriously. This mob behind the disc jockey, I have a feeling of pity for them, I think, that they're just blundering along, being led anywhere. <laughs> 